All right, in this video, let's have a look at the integral of the natural log squared of x. So the natural log function squared, and we want to find the indefinite integral, or the antiderivative. Now this process is relatively straightforward because it follows the same formula, or the same method as the integral of the natural log of x. So just the natural log of x on its own without the power. So I'll write same as, same as the natural log of x in procedure. Procedure. And in a previous video, we found this integral using integration by parts. And that will be the same method for this integral. So this is a good exercise in pattern recognition in mathematics in terms of procedure because we have a function relatively of the same form here so we'll use the same method. So that can be really useful. So let's go ahead and conduct this integral. So what I'm going to do is let u, let the function u equal the natural log squared of x and I will let dv equal dx. So let's take the derivative now of du with respect to x. So we have, bring down the power, 2 by log x. Then we have to times that by the derivative of log x by the chain rule. Let's now rearrange that so we'll break up the differentials. So we say du equals 2 on x by log x dx. With dv, we integrate that to v equals x. So the integration by parts formula is the integral of u dv equals u times v minus the integral of v du. So thus the integral of log squared, which we said was u dv, which is dx, is equal to u, which is log squared of x, by v, which is x, minus the integral of v, which is x, and we finally sub in du, which is 2 on x by log x dx. So let's simplify that a little bit. So we have x log squared of x minus, these x's cancel, 2, can come out the front, by the integral of log of x dx. So we still have this integral to evaluate. And I'm just going to take this from the previous integral that we did. And you can view that via the link that I've provided here. So this here evaluates to x by log x minus x. Bring down the negative 2. Bring down the terms at the front. And of course, we must not forget the integration constant plus c, as it is an indefinite integral. We don't need to, but we could factor out an x. So let's just do that for the sake of it. So we have x outside of log squared of x minus 2 by log x plus 2. So take the negative 2 into the parentheses plus the integration constant c. And that is the integral of the log squared of x dx. So I hope you've found this video useful. If you have, please give me a like and please subscribe. Share it with your friends on social media. If you have any video requests, feel free to use the comment section below or ask any questions there. But for now, best of luck with your math studies and I'll see you on the next video.